I get it. The last thing that you would ever need in your life is to fall for another narcissist. In this video, I'm going to identify certain things that will help you to never fall for a narcissist again. Hello and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So I understand that a lot of you have been in these narcissistic relationships, this dynamics, and the last thing that you would need is to fall for another narcissist. In this video, I wanted to talk about and explore certain things that you can do to safeguard you from doing that. And in that I mean things that you can identify, things that maybe you can change, and also to make you aware of certain things that narcissists look out for when they're looking for a new target. So for narcissists, this is really easy. All they need to do is get someone who is compliant, someone who's gonna conform, someone who is gonna give them everything, okay? That's gonna make uh, or get their needs met. That's what they're looking for in a person. So the things that they're gonna look out for in their new target will be someone who is kind, someone's compassionate, someone who is really understanding, someone who is gonna believe their lies, okay? They need someone who's gonna be compliant and be able to believe their lies. And they need someone with a lot of empathy, okay? This is, these, are the, these are the things that narcissists look out for. Now, that probably sounds like you and me, okay? So what we have to realize, okay, those things that the narcissist is looking out for, okay, these are our assets. These are our things that make us unique, that make us the person that we are. Now, I'm not saying that you need to change. That's not what this is about. And I really don't want you to change because I think these are beautiful qualities, but we cannot see them as weakness. These are our strengths. These are the things that make us us, but we need to safeguard them. We need to protect them. You got to think of it like, okay, would you give, um, or would you give someone you know, your details to your bank so that they can withdraw money from your account whenever they want to. No, you wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. That's why your money is in a bank. That's why your password, your pin code is all protected. That is what you need to do. You need to protect you. And of course, yes, that's putting boundaries in place. But in understanding your boundaries, you need to understand what your triggers are. You need to understand what makes you tick. And that's all about connecting to yourself, understanding you, and really getting to know who you are. Because then you know what your triggers are. And for a lot of us, that may mean that we might need to do the internal work. Actually, you probably will need to do the internal work to understand, to unveil what your triggers are so that somebody else out there is not going to exploit your triggers against you. That is the one thing that you need to realize is that you cannot expose these triggers, okay, or not allow them to affect you the same way that the narcissist has used that against you because that's what they're going to do. That's what predatory people look out for. They look out for things that will help them to be able to manipulate you. And the only way that you can manipulate someone is if you use their, your, their weaknesses against them. Because what happens is they then become emotionally weak and then they are easier to manipulate. You can lie to them, you can gaslight them. That person is gonna believe what you're saying. And so that's why it makes it really easy for the narcissist to be able to manipulate you and then they control you. So it's not about changing who you are, no, because those are your assets. This is really about safeguarding those things that you already have. That is what is important. And the way that you do that is, like I said, you've got to understand what your triggers are. You've got to understand those qualities that you hold. And you've got to put barriers in place 
that is really understanding and getting to know that person and understand and see the truth the truth of it it's it's how that person makes you feel how do you feel internally that is what you need to really understand is like how that person makes you feel if you feel that they are being awful if you feel that they're being exploitative nasty to you always put the blame onto you that's not going to make you feel good that's not going to make you feel happy inside you know that person isn't for you they are against you and that is what i'm saying that's what you need to look out for when you are around certain people how do they make you feel your intuition is an integral part of this okay your gut feeling because it's never wrong okay this person who is toxic okay they have expectations of you they want certain things from you but they never give anything in return so it makes it really difficult to have like a reciprocal relationship with this person whether that's a partner whether that's a family member whether that's at work even or friends you have to understand that not everyone is going to be for you there are going to be lots of people that are against you there's going to be people who are jealous of you okay because they see that you're shining they see that you're doing good but they're not going to celebrate that with you they're going to want it for themselves they might even want to take it from you so you have to ascertain you have to use your intuition here you have to use your gut feeling here how is this person making you feel and you have to put protection in place i know this is a sad world that we live in i know but what what's the what's the alternative you're going to trust them you're going to allow these people into your life you're going to allow this to keep happening to you no this is about really understanding and seeing the red flags if somebody is not making you feel good if you come away from that person and you feel drained like to the point where maybe you might even need to take a nap and you know what this has happened to me so many times like when you're around people that are not for you they really drain your energy and there's many times where i've come away feeling like oh my god like seriously you know i've only spent like a few moments with this person but i actually feel like i need to go for a nap or i feel really angry or i feel really anxious around this person those are the things that you need to look out for because what this person is doing is they're also draining your energy they're not only draining your time your kindness your goodness but also your energy and this is a big indicator narcissists will always be nice to you at the beginning they will always show you that they are so wonderful they'll show you this illusion so that is how you form your first impression of this person but do not be fooled do not be fooled because over time the narcissist is not going to be able to sustain this okay so they will they they will show their true colors over time this is why i always say take it slow get to know this person really see it for what it is like what's going on at first you're not going to be able to because when you meet someone for the first time they're going to be showing you all the good stuff there's this going to be kind of like an act whether the person's toxic or not like we all do that we all do it because we want to form a good first impression but this is what i'm saying you've got to take your time with this this has got to be a slow burner you've got to get to know that person and see what they are about but if you find that over time this person is taking more than what you are offering you need to think about this and you need to put protection in place or actually even get away from this person because actually this person is not bringing anything to the table they're taking from you but they're not bringing anything to the table and so that i feel like that is the biggest thing that you need to understand like going forward like if you're thinking how am i going to know you know i'm dating again how am i going to know if this person is narcissistic you know male narcissists are really charming okay they charm you to the ground female narcissists are very seductive okay and they use their femininity against you all right so these are the things that you got to look out for if someone is being overly charming overly seductive what is their agenda what is that about you can feel when someone is being their true authentic self you can tell of course you're going to tell because this is your intuition telling you you're going to know but when someone's not you kind of 
I don't know about you guys, but you kind of like think, mm, what's going on here? Like, why are you being like this? And it might take two or three times that you get to see that person or be around that person. Narcissists are not always easy to spot at first. It may take a few times of, of you know, like being around this person. But what I will say is over time, when you're spending a certain amount of time with this person, you will click it. You will click it because your intuition is going to tell you like something isn't right. It's about the, the, the things that they say, the words that they use, the things that they talk about. Like, why would you be talking about that? Like, why would you say that? The way that they make you feel, you see narcissists develop relationships very quickly. There's almost this kind of obsessive nature to it. You feel this, you know, this pull towards this person. Take a step back and think, why is this person moving this relationship on so quickly? Like, what's going on here? Why does this need to develop so quick? You know, and just realize that why are they rushing this? What's going on here? And that's a big indicator that they're trying to pull you in. They're trying to lure you in. Because that's what they do. Another indicator is, is that narcissists say a lot of things, but they don't follow through. So if someone's telling you something you want to hear, well, that's exactly what it is. They're telling you what you want to hear. Where is the proof? Where is, like, what have you done, what have you done about it? Usually, they don't. And that is another indicator with narcissistic individuals. So in this, I, what I would say to you is use your intuition, use your discernment. You'll know. You're not going to get fooled again. You're not going to get played again. But you need to protect your assets. You need to protect you. Okay, because otherwise this is going to be exploited against you. And... That's not what this is about. It's not about you changing who you are. It's about protecting who you are. So if you are someone that is going through this or would like to get to know a little bit more, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. I've also got a mentorship and I've also got a journal club. And if you'd like to join them for a small monthly fee, please see the description box below for more details. Also, I do have a Discord server. And in that, within that, we have a community of like-minded individuals, people who have um, similar experiences to yours. And if you'd like to talk with people, connect with others in a safe space, please do check out the Discord server. The link is in the description box. Have a look, see if you like it, see if it's for you. You know, it's absolutely free to join. There's no costs involved. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.